Hi guys doing and welcome to another Arc Garage video. Today I'm gonna try to add spacers to my Alfa Romeo GT. Uh, now I say try because I already did some basic measurements and things are not looking promising. The spacers that I had in mind are 20 millimeters and I don't think there's gonna be enough space to accommodate them. The uh, main reason why spacers came up to my mind is better stance. If we take a look at the back wheels, there is a bit to be desired. Now, another reason why I'm doing this is because of you. If you have the same setup as me, you'll be able to figure out if you should buy the spacers or not. So uh, this car is on factory suspension. The wheels are 18 by 8. ET is 35. The tires are 225, 40, 18. The spacers are going to be 20 millimeters. This is exactly what I'm talking about. The car is under load right now and there is barely enough room for me to uh, put my fingers inside the wheel arch. This is uh, what I'm starting with. These are the 20 millimeter aluminum spacers that I got left over from one of my previous alphas. Now if they uh, catch the wheel arch uh, just a bit I'm gonna take them to machinists and take off maybe like 5 millimeters. I also got a bunch of these uh, longer wobbly wheel bolts. Alright, uh, here is the moment of truth, now we're gonna put the car under load and we're gonna check out if the tires are gonna catch the wheel arch. As you can see for yourself the wheel arch is basically sitting on tires and uh, there is no way that this factory suspension uh, combined with these wheels and tires will work. Uh, this is actually very dangerous if you hit the pothole or something the tire could burst and uh, you could end up having an accident. Now even if I take 5 or even 10 millimeters off of these spacers uh, I don't think that they'll be able to fit on this car. Uh, this is how the car actually looks with the spacers. You can see that the stance, at least in my opinion, looks much better. Now I didn't stop here. I also tried adding the uh, rubber coil spacers but that didn't work the only thing that i could think of that could solve this issue would be the aftermarket adjustable suspension uh, that would be all for this video if you liked it uh, hit the like button and support our channel by subscribing and by sharing our content with the rest of office team.